Hey guys, Mike Bays here, Bed North Stanford, uh, coming at you with another video. Uh, first of all, we're going to get the safety thing out of the way, you know how we have to do that. Uh, be sure to read, understand, and follow all the safety rules that come with your power equipment. Failure to do so could cause severe damage or loss of limbs. We're talking about cams here, we're talking about handling of cams, well there's really not a hand on a cam. But what I, you know, today what I really want to talk about is something very near and dear to my heart. It's hemorrhoid cream. I've used Preparation H hemorrhoid cream for years and years and years. And I went to the dollar store just the other day and walked in there and I... <laughs> hey guys, Mike Bates here, Benton North Stanford. Coming at you with another video today. Uh, get, let's get our safety stuff out of the way. Uh, if we show you, tell you, instruct you to do something that's not safe, something that's against your company policy or something you don't feel comfortable doing, as always, shut it off, get back to work. Don't do it that way. Today we don't have any power. We're on a workbench, nothing to cut off, nothing to lock out, anything like that. So we have got a scan shaft here. We get two or three calls on this a year. And we usually have to send a service guy out at least once a year to help somebody out on this because they'll take take this part, gonna be replacing the, 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 the clutch or the hub or the cam, and then they get it back together and it's out of time. The tuckers aren't in time with each other. It's not going up and down when it should as it's going back and forth. So I'm gonna briefly explain how this it's it's really simple once you once you understand it. Uh, first thing we're gonna do an entire episode on handing of a machine because that we get a ton of calls on the handling of the machines. Uh, you have right hand parts on left hand machines and left hand parts. So we're gonna save that for a full episode. However, we have went the time and expense to make a very brief description here. If you guys would like a PDF drawing of this, you just call one of the girls and tell them we'll email it to you. Handing of the machine. The, the operator is gonna be on the hand the machine is. So, if we have our product flow coming this direction and the operator is on this, on the right hand side of the machine, this is a right hand machine. If the operator is on the left hand side of this line, this, sorry about that, this becomes a left hand machine. Uh, like I say, once again, we're going to do a whole episode on handling because I just, I'm just not going to go into it now. I'm just saying that so we can talk about this can. Like I said, if you guys want one of them, just let us know. Cam, the cam is not handed. The lifter cam has an arrow and uh, it, it, it's engraved in there. I took a Sharpie and marked this one black so you could see it. Because on a, on a right hand machine, it's gonna be this way and on a left hand machine, it's gonna be that way, but it's still gonna rotate in the same direction. So the, uh, the, the lifter cam is pretty easy because it's got an arrow for rotation. The clutch is very important, integral part of this. Uh, set, uh, see, episode one was clutches. We tell you how to change hands on them. We tell you what color springs to use, and we, you know, you guys should know by now that we, that kind of think of that as an arrow, and that should always go rotation-wise with your with your shaft. I have got another piece, uh, clutch. I took it apart. I've got the arm off of it. This keyway has to be in the center of these two bolt holes right here. All of our all of our clutches are manufactured with the keyway in the middle. I can't speak for anybody else's clutches, but if that keyway is not dead center between these two bolt holes, you're you're not going to get it. It's not going to work for you. On the on, it'll work other applications, but it's not going to work on this cam for you. It has to be dead center. We've we've eliminated those two things. Now let's get the cam itself. That's, that's a little heavier than the clutch. The cam and the hub are not handy. They, can, they go on either machine. What, what makes the handing is the detent on this hub, whether that detent is oriented this direction over here or oriented this direction over here. Make a long story short, when your cam is pointing down on your machine, just like this one is now, high point, low point, when it's pointing down, that clutch hub should face the direction that product is coming to it. That's, and that's really hard to kind of say sometimes, but that is to say that this detent product 
should be flowing towards the detent when the can is pointed down. So if it's a right-hand machine or a left-hand machine, the, the detent will just rotate to the other side. And then you have, that's how you're gonna hand your can. So always just remember to say, it's very simple. You may remember all this garbage that I've told you. The thing to remember, arrow, arrow on your lifter can. Your heat seat has to be in the center of the two bolt holes. And the detent on your cam with, with or on your hub with the cam pointing down, product should be flowing to that detent. And you put her back together and she's gonna work fine for you. You guys got any questions on this or comments, y'all call us. As always, our parts girls and our service department is standing there ready to help you any way you need help. All you gotta do is give us a call, text, email, whatever on that. Uh, you guys work safe, work smart, walk out the bakery with all the fingers that you walked in with and we'll be sending you another video out here in, in uh, a, a week or so.